Hi folks, Mo here. Do you know that every time that you download an image from the internet, it is loaded with metadata. So when the search engines come across your image, if you upload it to Facebook or Instagram, or say to your website or blog, that they're searching the data that really leads them to someone else's website. So there's a software tool that I came across that I'm gonna to give to you today for free. And with this software, you can erase all the metadata from your images, and you can add your own keyword rich phrases and words that helps you with the search engines. Now I'm gonna give you a demo right here on how this software works. And remember, simply fill out the form below and you can get it for free. Let's do us a quick walkthrough on the thumbnailer software. First of all, originally when this software is being created, it was just going to be to create thumbnails. But uh, as I was developing this, there was a lot of people in my, in my private group who were just slinging out suggestions left and right of what they wanted in this type of program. So this actually turned out to be a lot more than just a thumbnail generation tool, but I already had the <laughs> already had the name stuck on there, so I left it. So we're going to walk through it. What this does is it does images and it does metadata, okay, or metadata, however you say it. I'm going to name a project, create a project. And image width. Now, when you put in the width, it, it, it auto scales it so that it so that it doesn't skew your image and make it look wrong. So I'm just going to say I want this image to be, see I'm doing, I'm, I'm just going to say 225, right? So I'll select a video that I want, I like this one, and I'm just going to tell it to make thumbnails. Now, like with, with all of my software, it's going to check to make sure that you've got the latest version, and it's going to check to make sure that the software is registered. Well, it already finished, and here's what it did. When it finished, it automatically popped up this uh, folder, and it has what I created in there. Now, this is on the desktop itself. All right, so here is the there's the images that we just made, right? You can see they were 225 wide, as I had said it, and in order for them to stay, the, have the correct uh, ratio aspect, it uh, is 225 by 126. So it made them, and basically what it did is it took my video clip and made me a series of thumbnails from throughout the video clip, right? Okay, now let's look at this real quick. Let's look at our properties. And uh, you're just seeing the regular stuff right there, right? It's, we're good. Now, this one full size, which you didn't elect for. You said, oh, I want size 225. Well, the program is going to go ahead and make you a full size every time, right, of whatever, whatever resolution that video is. So by default it's a 1920 by 1080 on this video so in addition to your small 225 size that you that you size down you also have the big size there now I'm gonna go ahead and close that and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it I want 500 let's do it again okay so there it goes there's my 500 and on the 500s, well, it's 499 by 281, right? So it gives me all of those thumbnails that I can use. But I can also, well, let me go back. Here you see how I just left the project and everything the same, changed the size. So it keeps that in a main project folder, and it does it under the project that you're in right now. So it'll go ahead, you can make as many different sizes as you want. And, and because it's changing the aspect ratio with the size, that means they're always going to look good. Your images are always going to look nice and crisp and clear. Let's get rid of that now. Now, this is just telling you that it's saved in a desktop folder named Thumbs. Now, whenever I, okay, let's, let's do the, display metadata. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to go to thumbs, the ones that I just created, and let's see, we'll do these and just tell it I want to do this uh, 
number three, and I want to see what my current metadata is. Now you notice I, I click this button, select the image, and tell it OK, and then I just wait and this thing will pop up. So it takes some people's machines longer to pop this up than others, so you know it is what it is. Now what you'll notice here is that basically the metadata for that image has simply been stripped. All it's given there is, is just the basics, I mean the, like super basics of this image. So there's no there's no actual metadata there. Okay. The reason that happened is if you run this program without putting keywords in it, then it'll strip away all of the metadata. Okay? Now if you put keywords in, let me let me find some real quick. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and paste some in. And I think I'll tell this one to do me at 750. I don't have to do this. I mean, I could just leave it as is, but might as well do something useful while I'm running it. And so now what it's doing is it's not only creating those images, it's first stripping away all of the metadata out of them. Then it's rebuilding those images with my own metadata stuffed in there, which my metadata being keywords, just stuffed in there like crazy, right? So let's go ahead and now let's, let's look at that metadata again. Now you're seeing quite a different picture, aren't you? Okay, so before we use, I put our keywords in there, there was no metadata. Now, as you can see, we've stuffed every square inch of this image with metadata. And not only is it using multiple keywords, but it'll use those keywords with just a space separator, a random set of your keywords out of the list that you added, but it'll also use a random set that is um, separated by commas so that you're getting the best of both worlds. And this does this on a per image basis. So all of your images are not gonna have the exact same data on the exact same lines it, it doesn't work like that. Every single image that it creates is going to have its own new set of random keywords from your list so that it's really not detectable that you're purposefully uh, stuffing these. So there you go. There's some power. And uh, that's pretty much it. Enjoy the software. I think it's going to help you go a long way, those, those guys that uh, are using metadata for SEO.